Hello everyone, my name is Cindy. Welcome to Kids STEM, brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District. Today's project is called Evaporation Art. It's where you team up with the power of the sun to make some beautiful evaporation art pictures. Here's what you'll need. In your kit, you'll find some washable markers, a white piece of paper, a pipette, and a paintbrush. And then from your house, if you can find a cookie tray or other flat board, some different color crayons, a little bit of scotch tape, and a small glass of water. Use the scotch tape to tape your white piece of paper to your cookie tray or other flat board. This will keep your paper from blowing away. Find a sunny spot in a window or a place outside to set your tray. It should be a spot where the sun will shine on your paper for several hours. Use the pipette to make a puddle of water in the middle of the paper. Make the puddle big enough so that the water almost reaches the sides of the paper. Use a crayon to draw around the shape of the puddle. Be careful to draw around the water, not through it. Wait an hour or so and check on your puddle. Did the puddle shrink? Did it change shape? Use a different color crayon to draw around the puddle's new shape. After another hour or so, check again. Each time you check, your puddle will be smaller and you will need to draw a new line with a different color crayon around the new shape. This process will take some time, at least a few hours, so you can do other things while you wait. After your puddle is completely dry, you should see rings of different color crayon shapes on your paper. Use the markers to color in between the crayon shapes. You can do this any way you want. Then, wet the paintbrush in your glass of water and brush over the marker colors you made on the paper to spread the colors. It will look like a watercolor painting. The water won't stick to the places where the crayon is, so you will be able to see the original shapes. Here's the science behind the project. Evaporation happens when water, a liquid, turns into vapor, a gas, and rises up. You've seen what happens to a puddle after the rainstorm. Does it stay there forever? No. The heat of the sun causes the water to evaporate. It turns into a vapor and eventually shrinks and disappears. The same thing happens with our project. The little puddle that you create is going to turn into a vapor caused by the heat of the sun and eventually it will shrink down and disappear. Now you and the power of the sun have teamed up to create some one-of-a-kind evaporation art. You can find lots of great crafts, experiments, and projects on PPLD TV's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.